Hello everyone, my name is Vincent Kenville Belair, and I'm the tech lead for Torch Radio, which is what I'm going to talk about today. The goal of Torch Radio is to provide building blocks to other researchers and engineers that allows them to bring research to production. This way, Torch Radio can accelerate the development of other libraries in the open source ecosystem. Torch Radio is built around the following core functionalities. The first functionality is I.O to read and save tensors from various file formats like MP3, WAV, FLAC, and Sphere. We can also download and use common audio datasets where samples are loaded in parallel using Torch multiprocessing workers. The second functionality is transforms for audio and signal processing, such as spectrogram, MFCC, and resampling. The transforms are provided as neural network modules in torchaudio.transforms, since the transforms are written using pure PyTorch operations, the computations can be done on the GPU, and it can be compiled using TorchCrypt. The third is Sox and Cardi compatibility. Sox and Cardi are audio processing library written in C++. For Sox, we provide an interface to use their transforms. For Cardi, we provide reading and writing of Cardi binary files, as well as equivalent features like Spectrogram and NFBank. The final functionality is the distribution of models, along with canonical example pipelines for distributed training for major tasks. As I said, the first set of functionality revolves around I.O. Here's a small snippet using Torch Audio Load and Transform. The waveform variable is a tensor, which is read from file, and the corresponding sample rate of the file is read as a scalar. The Torch Audio Transform spectrogram is given an input parameter to configure its behavior. It is then passed the input tensor, which computes a spectrogram tensor as output. What's special here that I want to highlight is that not only are the transform standard torch and module, and so can be compiled using JIT, but the load function uses torch bindings, and so can also be compiled and ported wherever JIT is supported. The goal is thus to make it possible to JIT an entire pipeline to be run in production easily. We support several datasets for different tasks, for instance, LibriSpeech for speech recognition, LibriTTS for text-to-speech. The next set of functionalities I mentioned is transforms. As I said before, they're written in pure PyTorch and as such support batching, TorchScript, and GPU. Here's another example. Since each transform is a Torch NN module, they can be combined in a standard sequential wrapper for convenient data augmentation. Here, we take a spectrogram, apply a random time stretch, compute the complex norm, apply a random frequency masking and a random time masking, and then convert the amplitude to decibel. Frequency masking and time masking are part of spec augment, which is what I'm illustrating in the image. A band of frequency and another in time are randomly masked. The code is divided in functionals that perform the computation, and a transform, which is an NN module that wraps each functional and keeps their state. Here, I'm listing a few new functionals that we added recently. You can see, for instance, mask along axis that is used within the, tor the frequency and time masking. We also have se several bipod filters that are used in signal processing, or a voice activity detection operation to detect voice. The next functionality is the interface with SOX and Caldi. For SOX, we offer a way of using their efficient C++ operations directly within PyTorch in a TorchScriptable manner. For instance, here, I'm applying a sequence of gain, speed, rate change, pad, and trim using apply FX tensor directly on the PyTorch tensor. For Caldi, Torch Audio provides a wrapper for Torch Audio transforms that mimics the flags provided to Caldi binaries. You can also read ARC and SCP files through Torch Audio so that the processed output of Caldi can be used within your Torch Audio program. Caldi is used quite a lot in the audio community, so we want to make it easy to interface with it. The final set of functionalities that I wanted to talk about is the addition of models within the library. For speech recognition, we added a training example pipeline for, uh, for speech recognition that uses LibriSpeech dataset and the wave-to-letter model. For text-to-speech, we added a vocoder based on the WaveRNN model, along with an example training pipeline in the example folder that uses LibriTTS dataset. For source separation, we added the ConvTasNet model and an example training pipeline with the Wall Street Journal Zero Mix dataset. <clears throat> Before finishing, I would like to highlight a few features that are on our roadmap. First, 
we would like to include the call the pitch feature extraction due to demand from the community. Second, we are interested in including a beam search decoder interface. This is especially useful for speech recognition application. And finally, another loss that has been requested by users is the addition of the RNN transducer loss. To use and learn about PyTorch, you can visit pytorch.org slash audio. It contains documentation about the API, installation instructions, tutorials, and links to the GitHub page. We also have a new tutorial for the recognition of speech command. Have fun playing with it. Torchudo is compatible with Linux, macOS, Windows, and supports Python 3.6 and up, just like PyTorch. Thank you for watching.